Uh, it's a bit tricky talking about race as a white guy because it always feels like like I'm too excited to have another opinion on things. Like talking to a white guy about race is always like, are you ready to have a dialogue with a white guy about race? I won't hear you. <laughs> you know, but we got We actually have to acknowledge like w, uh, Australia in general was was founded on some pretty like fucked up bedrock, and I think we uh, aren't properly teaching that. Like the whole premise of Australia is like the world's worst pitch for a reality TV show. Like we took a whole country's criminals, stuck them on a continent for two hundred. 150 years, let's see what happens on I'm an immigrant, get me out of here. <laughs> and it's like it's gonna have an effect on people, do you know what I mean? Like, like boomers won't even acknowledge that racism exists, like that's crazy. I have to like trick my dad into admitting that there is any racism in Australia. I'll be like taking a photo with him like, okay dad, okay one, two, three, say sorry. <laughs> And then Australians, like, we say, we're like, we don't have culture. Like, wow, mate, we've got fucking culture. Meat pies, beer, lamingtons. Mate, that's not a culture. That's like a fucked up grocery list. Like, that's so <laughs> shit. And then we stick to this, like, there's fucking youths and rats. And we stick to this, trying to, you know, create some pseudo culture when we literally have the world's oldest culture right here that we could be embracing and learning from. And, like, here's... Here's some of the stuff you might, you might like not miss, but like, uh, for instance, here's what I like about indigenous culture, the way they treat elders. Like, that's so cool. Respecting people older than you. They're like a source of knowledge. They teach you stories. They're passed down. How do elders compare to baby boomers? <laughs> you listen to a story from a baby boomer? Fucking kill me. <laughs> oh, one time I met Jimmy Barnes. <laughs> oh, no, I went to shake his hand, but he didn't shake my hand, and so... So that's why I don't like artists, so that's why I heckled your comedy show. <laughs> anyway, can you help me with my computer? Because a hacker scammed me out of my face. Like, <laughs> can you shut the fuck up? Your whole generation is just dumpster goblins. <laughs> and then there's the thing, like, we... We uh, take, we, uh, we don't take from their culture. We, we acknowledge, we have acknowledgement, right? We have, which is like the bare minimum because we don't even acknowledge all of it. We acknowledge like a little bit. Like I, I like the welcome to country. I think acknowledgement country is good. I think we could go further. I think we should do a goodbye from country where at the end of events, an indigenous guy gets to come on stage and tell everyone to fuck off home. That <laughs> would be something. Uh, but like we do the bare minimum when it comes to acknowledgement as well. We acknowledge land, but we don't acknowledge culture. And we take a lot from indigenous culture. Football. That's indigenous. That is an indigenous sport called Mangrook that we stole, and the AFL has never acknowledged that, which is crazy. That's cra yeah, it's absolutely, this is 100% true. The boomerang, right? The boomerang was like a lethal fucking weapon that could instantly kill things in the hand of a trained person using them, and then we turned it into like a toy. Like, that must be how Greek people felt when they, like, the Spartan shield became a frisbee, or like, <laughs> or like how Americans feel when they see cap guns. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> They used to be ours. Do you know what I mean? And it's crazy because we, we take from their culture, but we don't let them experience ours, like what limited culture we do. Like, how come elders can't march in the Anzac Day parade? You ever think about that? They had a war for 250 years. They had a Gallipoli for 200 years of colonization, and they can't march. Like, they died. They showed heroism. I don't want to split hairs here, but they didn't fucking retreat. <laughs> And people were saying like, hey, where, well, well, would they want to like move the holiday? They want to move the holiday, that's un-Australian. It's like, actually, they're asking a bunch of people to pack up all their shit and leave. That's OG Australian. <laughs> that's so, the only way the change the date rally could be more Australian is if they made the speakers 30% less loud for women. Like that is. <laughs> That's the thing, man. Like, and I, I totally, I think, like, obviously we, we should ch should change it, but it's weird that people are like, oh, no, we, like, why, how, how come there's no Triple J? How come there's no big piss-ups and fireworks on Anzac Day? Maybe because people are like, oh, it would be disrespectful to party on a day that, you know, celebrates so much loss and remembrance. Yeah, better save that for Invasion Day. Like, you out of your fucking mind? That's crazy. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I think obviously we should change the date, but humans are creatures of habit, and if you want to break a habit, you've got to make it harder. So I think what we should do is make it really hard for us to have Australia there, like really hard to be pro-Australian Australia. Like anyone who has those like those those capes, the Australia flag capes, we should let as many people have them as they want. The government should give them out, but they should make them three sizes too small, <laughs> so that everyone is just like, oh, we are young and this is fucking. What is happening? Where? What? I haven't even drunk yet. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Or they should keep Australia the same date, but put large rubbish collection on the same day. <laughs> Just so all the trash is outside at the same time. <laughs> you know, 
it's just, it's crazy. Like, I never learned about this stuff. I never learned about uh, the Black Wars. I never learned about indigenous genocide. I never learned about slavery. I didn't learn about Jaegen, who's the, one of the greatest Australians that ever existed. The only reason I know about him is because there's a statue at Jaegen Square, and I thought it was so cool, I looked it up and found out about it, which proves that the statues we have actually tell society who we admire which is crazy. Like, of course we should be getting rid of statues if they did fucked up shit. Or have one of the people they did fucked up shit to behind the statue and a separate statue, just choking them out. Just fucking, <laughs> just choking them out. Oh. That's what that is. And look, I'm not saying we should all of a sudden just run in and force ourselves into indigenous culture. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, I'm not saying we can even fix racism uh, overnight. All I'm saying is that we should at least try. All I'm saying is that wouldn't it be better to wake up in Australia one day with the Prime Minister saying thank you instead of sorry? <laughs>